Welcome all to Eat, Drink and Explore with Cece. Today we're making pineapple jam. I have got a hankering for pineapple jam. I grew up with pineapple jam. I love it so much. And so I thought I'd make an easy, a very easy small batch of fresh pineapple jam without any pectin. And it just needs the three ingredients. So you got pineapple, sugar, and you have a citrus um, flavor, whether it is lime or whether it's uh, lemon, it's up to you. And this is optional, but I always put a pinch of salt in the jam. And I'll explain why I do that. I'm going to show you how to quickly do this. Now, what I want to make sure I show you here is I made sure that the pineapple was super ripe, okay? And when I chopped it, you chop out the cores. You do not want to have the cores in your jam. And pineapple jam is kind of a cross between jam and a, and a preserve because it, you, you want the chunks of pineapple in there. You don't necessarily want to just strain it all out and just have the jelly of it. The fun of eating pineapple jam is to have those chunks in it and you just get transported to your tropical place um, whenever you want to. In, in, like in the middle of winter, you can get transported really, really quickly to a tropical place and just imagine that you're there on the beach. <laughs> first things first, I would recommend that you use 100% fresh pineapple. Get the whole pineapple, ripen it down, get it nice and ripe in here because the riper it is, the sweeter it is and that's what we want with our jam, right? Um, worst case scenario, you can use frozen pineapple chunks but make sure to defrost it before you create um, this beautiful golden yellow jam. And it is like so packed with tropical flavors. It's just, you know, it I takes me to a whole different place. It's also a very versatile recipe. So you can spread that on fillings of layer cakes. You can mix it in with your Greek yogurt, your plain Greek yogurt. You can put it on, um, you mix it with cream cheese, have it on a bagel. There's a ton of things that you can do uh, with this and I would recommend you really try making this even if it's a small batch it it just Just takes you to a happy place Now The reason why I say either fresh or a uh, frozen that's defrosted is I've substituted it before with canned pineapple and you want to make sure that the canned pineapple that you do use is 100% in its own juice. You do not want it in any syrup. Uh, the other thing I found that the color of the jam that comes out is extremely pale. You don't get that beautiful golden pineapple jam and also the flavor punch. Um, it's not flav not that flavorful at all. Sometimes it's barely flavorful. flavorful. And also you run the risk of that metallic -y taste to your jam. So would recommend stay clear of it. But if you're in a pinch and you have to do it, then you have to do it. But I would recommend either go to the frozen section, defrost it, or get a fresh pineapple and ripen it up on your counter, get it nice and ripe and golden. Now I'm going to, I basically chopped them all up, peeled it. I took as much of the dark eyes out of it that I could. And I have two, sorry, well about three cups let's say three and a half cups of pineapple uh, that I managed to get uh, from the pineapple that I got. And I got three quarters cups of sugar. I'm keeping the sugar component low on this. Now the reason why I'm not going with a full cup or two cups, depending on your traditional uh, jams, is pineapple is super sweet. And I'm a bit of a savory gal, but I do like a little bit of sweetness. So I'm gonna balance that. And then I'm adding in the lemon juice. Now the reason why I'm adding in the lemon juice is, is that even pine, I mean, pineapple is high in acidity, right? And so is the, the lemon juice or the lime. But what the pineapple, what this lemon does to the pineapple is it balances the sweetness of the dish. And when you add a pinch of salt, right? Believe it, you're going, a pinch of salt and jam? Really? That just is like opposite to what you would really do, right? But trust me, it enhances the flavors of the pineapple as well as it will sweeten it up as uh, a sweeten of the, the pineapple jam as well so if your pineapple when you taste it is not 100% sweet to your taste you can you can sort of play around with the salt and balance that out so with the amount of sugar you'll be using in you know in this dish like through here adding a little pinch of salt is not going to make your jam salty it's just going to enhance all the other flavors now what I like to do is I like to have a chunky jam, right? And I find the perfect companion of making this is my food processor, my mini food processor. And 
this thing is so handy so handy dandy now the reason why I like it is because I can control the chalk if I did it manually I'll have a mess on my board and just like I don't want to go there so I'm just going to add it in oh and by the way um, while I had this on the counter here on the board I did throw a little bit of lemon juice in here so that it didn't brown on me so I'll just put that back in there. and so you just want to helps if I put this in the right spot there we go and you just want to do a quick chop perfect so let's take a look at the consistency so you see that consistency now you can decide if you want to go less you want to chop that more I want to see chunks in mine like when I spread it on my scone or my waffle or my pancakes or my toast I want to see chunks of pineapple I don't want it to be all mushy so I think that's perfect so I'm going straight from here, straight into the pot. Oh, it smells so nice. <laughs> nice pineapple tropical, tropical uh, smell in the kitchen. I love doing, I really love doing this in the winter. Um, especially when you're in the middle of winter and it's just snow after snow after snow. A nice way to indulge the senses if you can't travel. Really, the trick is try to get your pineapple as ripe as possible because that's where all the beauty of this jam comes from. And then the sweeter the pineapple is, the less sugar you add to your dish. I've been known to also use this jam that I've made and I've added it on top of chicken and pork as a dressing. Actually, it's more like a glaze. Okay, so. You don't want to remove any water at all from this. What we're going to do is we're just going to mix that around. Okay, so it's starting to boil up. So you see the liquid there. So I'm going to add in the sugar. So I'm going to add in a half a cup. And I'm actually going to just taste the pineapple before I mix the sugar in. So... You know me, I like to do this in layers, blend it, incorporate it. This, I feel that it provides an easier and even melt. Okay, so add in the rest of the sugar. Let that melt down. Then I'm adding in two tablespoons of lemon juice, freshly squeezed. And the trick now is you just want to render this down. You want to cook down and evaporate as much of this liquid. Let that go for about 20 minutes. So what we want to do is we want to simmer this down and we want to simmer it, simmer it down with a purpose, meaning that we want to see the bubbles in here going. I have such fun memories of pineapple jam. Growing up in a hot climate, pineapples were common fruit. Look at that, you see how it's starting to thicken up? Not good. So we want to render that down, turn this down a little bit. So see how it's simmering with purpose? That's what I mean by purpose. And just keep keep stirring. And just keep an eye on it. Okay, okay. and let's not forget the salt. Just a pinch. And when I say a pinch, that's just shy of a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you want to use kosher salt or sea salt. Don't use iodized salt. Uh, I've never used Himalayan salt, so I don't know what it will come look what it would taste like but I have done kosher and I have done sea salt. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't worry about skimming the foam off of uh, the top. Just reincorporate that into the jam, and that's where the flavor is, so why bother? And this is just a small batch that we're doing to add, to, you know, to put in the fridge. Isn't that magical? I love that. You create these magical sweet concoctions. Look at the chunks. Ooh. And I love it because with the food processor, you get different types of chunks, sizes, based on, you know, how long I keep the, my hand on the button for, for chopping. And by the way, um, trying to give you a time estimate of how long this is going to take, it's going to take as long as it's going to take. <laughs> I know that's really practical because it's really based on the water, um, the, the water volume of the pineapple, how much water volume was in that pineapple. So you want to render that down. You want to evaporate that, right? And it depends on, you know, the weather outside. Is it hot? You know, is it humid? All of those are factors. So 
just keep rendering it down and stirring it. And if you're one of those people that forget that you have something on the stove um, and it's sensitive, put your put your timer on. At least put your timer on to come every like five to, five to seven minutes so that nothing burns. Okay, so you need to watch your stove because you don't want it to burn at the bottom. So you can see it's starting to become a darker golden color. Almost there. See how it's still. Give it about another minute. And I've set, turned my stove down to the lowest possible setting. Because it can go from this to burnt in a minute. <laughs> I like my jam significantly reduced. I don't like a runny jam. That's why I said it's almost like a cross between a preserve and a jam. So this took about 40 minutes for me to get to this stage, based on the setting that I had on the stove. Mm. Okay. So good, look at that. Right, I think that it is, it's good on the tail end for me. Look at that, oh, perfect, I'm good with this. All right, let's go finish it up. All right, so the jam's done. So what I did is, is I, these were already washed and sterilized, but I just put them in the microwave for a minute with a little bit of water and just heated them up to sterilize them again. And look at that jam, doesn't that look yummy? Looks so good. So I'm just gonna add it in. This is definitely, you know, a small, small batch jam. And we'll start with this one. So just let it cool down a little so that you can touch it, like work with it. I do have a little bit of asbestos hands, so. Look at that beautiful golden color. Oh, the smell. Ooh. Do not want to waste any of this. So get your spatula in there. And as soon as you finish with this pot, go put it in water right away. So there you have it, folks. Pineapple jam in a jar. Oh, happiness in a jar. That's gonna be so much fun to eat in the winter. Just just when you need something warm and cozy and to dream about the tropics. Perfect. And it made a couple of jars and then that's a small batch and that'll keep in the fridge for about you know three to six weeks i keep them for about six weeks because i put them in the back of the fridge and they last they're fine and they are you don't need a lot of this so you can spread it on a nice piece of toast see how nice it spreads this is actually very good also to use as a cake filling okay and between layer cakes if you're doing like a pineapple a pineapple rum layer cake you could definitely have added some rum into the pineapple mixture when we were making it on the stove uh, if you want to have this as a little bit spicy you could add some jalapeno um, in here chop that up you could add that in and enjoy it that way but I like it this way with a cup of tea and sometimes I'll mix it in with cream cheese and have it on a toasted bagel all right, so let's give that a try. <laughs> Took a big chunk out of that one. Wow. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> oh. Tea time's not gonna be the same. It's gonna be so good. And scones, these are amazing. And scones as well. Um, wow. Mm, I'm happy with that. I'm truly, truly happy with that. And if you wanted to make yourself a tropical peanut butter and jam sandwich, you could just substitute that with, instead of using grape jelly, you could use pineapple. It gives you a completely different take on it. So there you have it, my small batch pineapple jam that can be whipped up really quickly and enjoy it for about three to six weeks. It might not even last that long for you, um, who knows, but I truly enjoy it. If you're a baker, use these in your uh, frostings between layer cakes perfect because we evaporated quite a lot of the liquid in there 
So thank you so much for joining me. Always greatly appreciated. If you're a returning champion, thank you. Thank you for showing your love and returning and watching us. Always greatly appreciated. Add a comment, give us a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We are trying to grow this channel, so if you could consider hitting subscribe and helping us grow this channel so that YouTube can send this channel across the board to more people out there that are enthusiasts like yourselves in these types of cooking channels. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy this beautiful, blissful, tropical delight. And consider making this just before winter starts, so you have something in the fridge that can remind you of the tropics in the middle of a winter storm. Once again, thanks for joining me. Have a fabulous day. Ciao for now.